What's good, YouTube? My name's Sleepy Keegan, and, you know, I've been around the YouTube community for a long fucking time. I've watched probably millions of videos. I've spent thousands of hours on YouTube, you know, binge-watching everything from podcasts to Let's Plays to fucking, you know, drama videos. Whatever the fuck it is. Whatever it is. As long as it's interesting, you know, I'll watch it, you know. And YouTube has gotten me through so many things in my life that I can't even express how grateful I am for the platform. But on the other hand, there's something about YouTube that really fucking gets to me, and, you know, I haven't made a channel specifically to talk about it, but I have wanted to make a YouTube channel for a long time. I just really haven't had the drive or the motivation, been too lazy, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But, you know, with some of the things that are going on in the community right now, I felt like now is the perfect time to discuss the topic at hand, so let's jump right the fuck into it. So this topic might be a little controversial, you know, I'm probably going to get a lot of fucking hate for this, but I don't really care, because I'd rather be honest and voice my real opinion than to fucking pander to some audience or some fucking company or sponsorship. I'm just going to be my fucking self, you know what I mean? I'm tired of all these fake ass fucking greedy ass YouTubers who already have fucking huge channels that are still finding ways to try to fuck us over out of more money. You know, it's like, I don't think they realize that, you know, people like me or people who have been fucking struggling to grow their channels for fucking months or years would kill to be in those positions. They would kill for it. You know what I mean? I would. I would fucking kill to be in the position of fucking, you know, a T. Martin or a fucking Leafy or a fucking, I mean, PewDiePie, he's just on some next level shit. I don't even know if I would want to be a fucking 46 million subscriber channel just from all the pressure, but you know what I mean. It would be a fucking dream come true to be fucking living off YouTube. It really would, you know? To have YouTube paying my bills to fucking, you know, not have to fucking work under some piece of shit company for no money. You know what I mean? It, it's just, it's ridiculous, you know? It's like you're making thousands upon thousands of dollars from one video, right? One fucking video that you upload. You know, even if it gets 100,000, 200,000, 500,000, a million views you're still getting a lot of fucking money, right? Yet you're still trying to figure out ways of getting fucking more, you know? I mean, I might be different than most people in the world, but the way I see it is if I ever make it, AKA I'm successful, I make it big, I get rich, you know, I have an abundance of money, I'm gonna stop fucking working and I'm gonna enjoy my fucking life. That's not to say, you know, if I did, say get big on YouTube that's not to say I wouldn't keep making videos but the reason why I love YouTube is because I love connecting with people you know before YouTube I was doing Periscope and I was getting dozens of followers every fucking broadcast because I'm so charismatic and I actually care about the people watching my videos I don't care about how many people are watching. I don't care about how much money I can make out of it. I just care if people enjoy what I'm watching and if I made, you know, some sort of positive impact on someone's day, whether that's a laugh, whether that's some good advice, I don't care, you know? I just wanna be a positive influence on people and, you know, like I said, if I was in that position with that much power, which also having big channels like that gives you power, I wouldn't be using it to fucking screw over little kids with gambling websites or make some fake ass kidnapping hoaxes to get fucking 100,000 or whatever fucking million subscribers that bitch got overnight, you know what I mean? And I don't want to name names here, I'm not trying to take shots at people because there's so many of them that taking shots at just one or two of them or even five or six of them or ten of them isn't even enough because there's hundreds, there's hundreds of them, you know what I mean? 
And really what fucking gets me the most is when all these big YouTubers are like, oh, thank you so much for all the support. I wouldn't be here without you. And that's goddamn true. You better fucking be saying that shit. But on the other hand, they don't fucking mean it. They don't fucking mean it. I mean, sure, probably a fucking, a part of them probably feels that way. But when your actions contradict your words, you know, saying that kind of shit really doesn't mean anything. You know what I mean? If I saw someone constantly trying to get more and more money when they're already living in a mansion, they're already driving fucking high-end sports cars and supercars and luxury cars and shit, and they're making gambling websites, or they have a Patreon, or they pull some bullshit stunt, whatever the fuck it is, just so they can make some more money on top of the fucking piles of money they're already making? No, 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 that's some fucking bullshit. That is some bullshit, you know what I mean? And if you think about it too, if these YouTubers were really so grateful and so appreciative for their fans, why aren't they giving back? That's my question, you know? I know there's the fucking, you know, occasional giveaways that these dudes do, but come on, dude. You're making fucking probably a multiple of a thousand times what you paid to create the video on one fucking video and you can't give back a hundred bucks or you can't even like start a charity or something like that and now no I'm not saying every big youtuber is a scumbag I'm not saying that I'm saying the ones that fucking have the fame have the popularity have the power have the money the ones that are still trying to get and more. tells me to kill Those myself and drink bleach and all that generic stuff just know I'm not saying that their content is bad I'm just saying that they're greedy people, you know? I may not like their channels, but that doesn't jade me in my opinion towards them, you know what I mean? It's all objective here. I'm just looking at their actions and what they're saying and what they're doing, you know? And, you know, I see them say all the time, oh, my fans are everything, but then I see no action to support that. And that's my point, you know? And I think the reason why, you know, people don't see through this is because a lot of people have the misconception that YouTubers are, you know, they're just like me. They're just like you and me because they're quote unquote normal people. But if you think about it and you look at how they act, and what they do, like I said, you'd realize that they're not really far removed from traditional media celebrities and, you know, artists and rappers and actors and all that stuff, you know? They're just using a different platform. And I think that because people can do it from their home instead of on a big set or, you know, on a big production that, you know, like I said, people think that these YouTubers are quote unquote just like you and me. But the fact of the matter is, is once you reach a certain level of fame, a certain level of money in your pocket, you're not just like you and me, you know? I mean, there are, like I said, there is exceptions, okay? I'm not making blanket statements here because that's not the type of person I am. But what I am saying is that next time you support a YouTuber, whether it's subscribing, liking their videos, you know, donating to their Patreons, buying their merchandise, whatever it is. Think about what kind of person that is first. Think about, you know, well, hey, has this guy done any giveaways? You know, has this guy, you know, actually responded to any of his fans? Has this guy done any fan meetups? You know what I mean? That's something you got to take into account because these guys, like I said, they want your money. Okay, they want your money, plain and simple. A channel that has, say, 500,000 subscribers or a million subscribers, they're set. They are set, you know, unless all their videos are, you know, age restricted or unmonetized. Those guys are set and they're making more than enough money to live and live comfortably. They don't need more of it. And every time they ask you to subscribe, every time they ask you to like, that is just inadvertently asking you for more money. It really is. You know, you may not be paying them directly, but every video you watch, every video you like, every person you subscribe to just because they ask you to is making more money because of that. And that's just a fact, you know? And that's not counting, you know, whether they're partnered, whether they have sponsorships, 
whether they're being paid under the table by Activision or Microsoft or some game company, which is a whole nother issue. But you gotta know that these guys, they're doing well. And I'm not saying don't support YouTubers you love. I'm not saying that because, you know, if I had a bunch of extra cash, I would definitely, you know, send some out to some, you know, smaller channels that I really, really love. But on the other hand, you're not going to see me donating money to a channel that has 3 million subs that has a Patreon. Unless they don't have ads on their videos, not going to happen. Plain and simple. And that's the point I'm making, you know. Just be mindful of the kind of people you're watching. Because that kind of thing rubs off on you, you know what I mean? And, you know, just know that these guys, they're, they're not out, you know, to fucking be entertainers they're not out to you know please the fans they're out to make money you know that's it and like i said it's not every single one of them but it's most of them and that's the big problem here but you know i, I could go on about this for hours but i don't want to talk your guys this years off but um yeah you know that's basically it you know just just think about it before you just believe anything that you're told by these people because, like with the gambling incident, one example, not all of it's true. So just take everything they say with a grain of salt and, you know, just try to realize that when, when they say things like, oh, thanks for the support, I couldn't have done it without you, but they haven't ever done any giveaways or done anything to give back, you know, you might want to have that thought in your head that maybe these guys aren't as great as they seem, you know, they're not the quote unquote good guy that they're making themselves out to be, you know. They're just as greedy as Donald Trump. <laughs> but um, anyways, you know, that concludes this video. I'll probably make a follow-up if people like this enough. Um, you know, obviously I'm new to YouTube, so sorry for the shitty production values. Sorry for the low-quality video. I don't have a capture card at the moment, so I gotta broadcast my gameplay, download the broadcast, and then, you know, trim it from there. So it's not, you know, the best setup, but I'm doing the best I can. Another thing is, you know, anyone who watches this, you know, if you have any suggestions on how I can improve my videos, I'm more than open to them um i'm the type of person that you know i'm open to criticism i really want to make the best channel that i can and entertain people as much as i can you know it would be cool to you know make it but that's not the goal here the goal is just to have a channel that people can come to you know listen to some honest opinions you know be entertained have a few laughs and you know hopefully something that makes a positive impact on people's day and that's my goal here and that's my only goal here so um yeah any suggestions are greatly appreciated if you do like the content feel free to sub feel free to like if not i'm not gonna e-beg you to do it i i don't care either way you know i feel like if people really like the content enough they will do it on their own and they don't need to be asked to do so so you know do as you please but if you could it'd be awesome if you could leave a suggestion like i said and um i hope everyone's having a great morning afternoon evening middle of the night wherever the fuck you're at and um yeah sleepy keegan out. Peace.